So this is part two of the wheel install video. Basically we're going to be fitting the camera arms, which are down there, onto the front. We're already jacked up, wheels are off, good to go. And first thing is to get these bolts undone here. Um, so we've put a load of WD-40 on that, so that will get rid of all that. Uh, and then these two back bolts in here. So yeah, we're going to make a start and see how it goes. Right, so for this joint here, because this just spins without it, we have to use this. It's a ball joint splitter, so we're going to get that in there. We don't have to worry about all this rubber because that's all new on the uh, new arms. So we're just going to get this in, whack it in, and try and split this ball joint. You need to get some mega purchase on it. Go on. Down. Don't hit your arch. A mega purchase. Well, Go on. Look, Go on. That's fine. Bad. That's doing it. That's as much as you're going to get on that. Got to a point where it's actually making that hard to turn. <sighs> what? And that's up and down. Um, Are we going to bend anything? Get that little blowing cherry red. That's not the problem, is it? That will be. Rubber. Yeah. The thing is, it's only uh, propane, so yeah, not, not burn for that hot. Out oh, there. No, if you do it long enough, they'll keep getting hot enough. Yeah. We need that nut to glow. Yeah, you think going to get it hot enough? It, it'll, it'll get hot enough. What are you doing? Must be not tempted to touch it. Yeah, it's probably still red as. Right, so basically, it's a bit of a nightmare getting that nut off, this one nut here. But, we use, we heated it up with a blowtorch, we scraped the, the uh, thread with a screwdriver, cleaned all the thread up. We then got uh, the ball joint splitter here, got it in, and yeah, through that 10 step process, we managed to uh, get the nut undone. So hopefully, you're seeing it live. It's going to come off. Good be cleaning the heat. The heat makes such a difference with nuts and bolts. Unless if you're not going to damage anything, you're just plumbing heat. For the in. record, Phil's helping. Man Phil's the one with the red saw that we checked out. Made loads of noise. He loves it. He not loves enough, his saw and enough. he loves nuts and bolts. Oh yeah. Look at it. It's free. Free. Right. So now we are going to make up the assembly on the floor. We're going to basically get them exactly the same as factory, so make it up to the same length as factory, then just dial it in a little, because we're going to go for about negative five camber, drift yeah. style. Inner, inner bolts first. Inner bolts first. But we got to, yeah, inner bolts first, which surely they can't go any worse than that. So we're going to do them. You can see the ends of the threads. They're just here in the engine, and then if you pop the uh, brake reservoir. Oh, I get it, so it's captured. It's sorted just down in there. So we did the same with them, put a load of WD-40 on them, and they should come out pretty easily. So we'll have a go and see. Right, so we managed to get it off. Like, it was just those two bolts, they snapped off really easy. Uh, so now we're gonna be, this is the old one, we're gonna make the new one up to exactly the same length, and then maybe just dial it in a tiny bit, a couple of mil, just to see how that goes, and hopefully that'll give us our few degrees camber over the stock one. Uh, so we're going to, before we put these rose joints in, we are going to put some... <laughs> just, my face is running. We're going to put some grease on, and then you put these little rubber boots on, and that keeps all the dust and crap out, and hopefully they'll last a while. We don't know. These are all uh, replaceable though. If they last a couple of years, then we'll have to swap them, but we'll see.
Right. I reckon that's like 20 mil back. So I think we're going for like minus 30 camber, the way this is set. <laughs> I reckon maybe with the back, with the back, give it, give them the same, and then just adjust on this front. Does that look about right? Yep. 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 And it looks, look, it's landed perfectly on that one there now. Yeah, but that's fully out. Yeah, I don't, you're going to have to wind that in some time. It's not even in. Well, it's going to have to go in. Right, so we made this one up to the exact same as the stock and then just dialed this front piece in a tiny little bit. And then we made this one up ready for the other side exactly the same. So we've laid them together, put them exactly the same. So then, when we put this back on here, any little adjustments we do, we can then count the turns and then do it to that side. So when I drive to the alignment place, it's not too far out. No, that's for the big one. That's for the bad boy. It's sat in there. Oh, I've just put grease in my jumper. Yeah, well that's, why are you wearing greasy clothes for work? <laughs> Got them. Right. Smash them in there. Did you go in there? Yep. They just pop in slightly. In they go. Is that nice and tight? Yep. They just bounce out a little on the rubbers. Just, yeah, just don't wobble it. Oh, like that. Like that. Really, you're going the difficult way. I'm going the difficult way. You're getting Mother. paw prints all over me. Right, do you need help? Stay there, so he moves. Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It's getting a bit clearance on it. I'm just jiggling it so that it'll go. Oh, it's gone. Yeah. I spun the spring round out of the way. Alright, don't go mad with it. Get the other one lined up. Right, so we've totally done the driver's side now. That's all on. You can see in there, we've got it all on. We've just tightened all the bolts. Uh, we're then gonna be testing the wheel. So we're gonna put it on and then drop it down, just see how it all looks. Uh, and then we're gonna finish the other side. Bonnet. <laughs> Don't get me ask crap, will it? Oh, I'm gonna get in there. Well, let me hold the bonnet up. Well, Rob's gonna have to watch. This is totally jackass. What is he doing today? He's going to have to watch. Oh my ass! Pushed! <laughs> We're delivering the film. In the engine bay. We're delivering a bonnet baby. <laughs> right, how much should he bounce? That's on, that's on. No, it? no it's not on it. I mean, it's not oh. a hit. Whoa. Well, you, you're like a clown. I mean, it's not hitting it as pinching my fingers. Rollocks. Do both of us weigh as much as the car? Yes. Oh. No. You're a bit new, you're a bit new, but. Right. Jack your nuts. Crack wheel nuts. Before we jack, crack your nuts. New windy gun. Oh no, it's not windy gun if it's not in hydraulic, or is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's just a Kajiga gun. It's not strong enough for that. <laughs> Are you kidding? I've just been on the phone to Chris from Dedication Blog telling him how amazing our new gun was. <laughs> Got all them loose. Fuck <laughs> 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 Hey Jeff. You're clumsy. 
I'll just hit a car. You tripped over something that I put in the way so you didn't trip over something else. Remember? No, I, I, funnily enough I've forgotten that. Right. I want... You put all the things on the wheels for. What? This rolls and turns... <laughs> Do you want to not film yourself when you're lucky like a Muppet? But this turns the dip. <laughs> what? Take it out of gear. Not in gear. Well, they caught, they didn't take the handbrake off. I'm going to have to jack the other side because it's a locked diff. No, it doesn't. Uh, no, it's not locked all the time. It's only locked when it's under pressure. Dun, dun, it's not dun, a welder, dun, is dun, it? Dun. It's not a welder, is it, Sean? No. No, but it's not locked. Right, we get some old nuts. Right, these are the original nuts. Let's start ratcheting it up. Take off, mate. Take off. Put them on. Mm, sure. What are the odds that the ones that came with the car are the best at staying shiny? Nissan, you did an amazing job. What do you think? Is that a shiny nut compared to that? Yes. And not is that does it, years old? Does it look gash and standard? And boring. Okay. Right, so this is the arch roller we're using. It's a... Uh, Handmade, knocked up, but pretty good. Uh, shout out to Chris T for loaning it to me. I don't think he know I'm borrowing it, but <laughs> I've got it anyway. Um, and it's got quite a lot of adjustment, but we found that we are doubling up the spacers. So we're using the 20 mil and another 20 mil, and that then gets this wheel really nice and flat onto the arch at the perfect angle. So we're going to bolt these up, bolt this on, and then start heat this up, and then start rolling it, uh, folding it up, nice and sled, nice and steady. Just that looks like. Right. Got that gauge to check to compare to the other side. I snapped it. It was oh. dangerous. For God's sake. I made a created a monster. It was sharp and it stabbed me in the finger because there was a nail hanging out of it. And I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't put that anywhere near my car. It's like a workout. Definitely. Right, so we've basically done both the rear arches. We've maybe done it like half of a full roll. So we're going to take it out, road test it, see if it catches. If it doesn't catch, then we can leave it. If it and we haven't gone too far at least. If it does catch, We'll just do another go, we'll maybe go half what's left again, try that, and if not then we'll have to bend the full lip in. But that's tr what we're trying to avoid because we don't want to be scratching all the paintwork and tearing the wrap and stuff like that. So basically we're going to take it, it's a bit late now, it's dark out and it's late. So we're going to get up in the morning, take it for a road test, check the front as well, make sure that's not like mega catching. Yeah, loads of gaps. So yeah, we'll uh, report back after a road test. So after another road test with uh, the rear arches rolled and all the camera on the front, it's still scrubbed a little bit on the front. So gone and bought more new tyres for the front and I went to a place that had a bead blaster so they've properly stretched it on. And while the wheel's off, I'm going to uh, roll this front arch a little bit. So I'll take these screws out, the arch liner screws, roll the arch, and hopefully I won't have any more scrubbing issues at all. And then I just need to get it all aligned and then that's it. Ready for the road. 